Aaron, Los Angeles, Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Aaron. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm great. Welcome to the show. What can I do for you today? Well, thank you. Okay, so I'm doing a, a video crowdsourcing project called the Simultania Project. And what it's about is getting people from all over the world to film during the same one-minute moment in time on Saturday, November 13th, and then assembling all the footage that I get into a video installation that plays... What a great idea. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sounds like fun. Thanks. Yeah, it, it's great. And I've got like 100 people signed up so far. But What's the website? Tell me the website so other people can sign up. Sure. Thank you. It's www.simultaneaproject.com. And it's also on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash Simultania. So um, S Simultania is S-I-M-U-L? T-A-N-I-A. I-A Project. Yeah. I, I spelt it with an E-A. I-A Project.com. Neat idea. And so you're going to do an installation yeah, that will have all of these one-minute videos playing over and over again. Yeah, and they're going to be in sync because I'm going to have people timestamp them. So there's just going to be tiled streams of footage, and everything you're seeing will have been happening exactly the same moment as everything else. You've got two weeks to get everybody involved. This for so long. <laughs> now, is this, are you, uh, this, you're an artist? Are you a video artist? Is that An artist. I'm an artist, um, you know, who's not very tech savvy, and, but I'm working with videos, so I need all the help I can get. It's <laughs> <laughs> really, really neat. Well, anything I can do to help, this sounds like a great idea. You know, there's a, a YouTube project, I'm sure you're aware of it, yes. uh, where they asked everybody on the same day to uh, send a video. It's a little less organized, a little less coordinated, um, you know, but they're going to get some big names to edit it and all of that. Yeah, you know, I saw that, I read about it, and I was like, oh my God, this is just like a project. I was they stole my that, But it's different, and um, and yeah, the final product's going to be completely different, because there's, I think, it's going to be a film. My yeah. I'm going to make this um, an actual installation to play in a gallery, but I'm also, I'm on Kickstarter, and I'm going to put a video up there to try and get some money so that I can pay someone to make a flash, um, you know, to with flash, put something on the on the. Oh, so, so people could do it on the web. They could see the installation on the web, in effect. Yeah, and make it interactive yeah. so you can hear the audio from certain. Oh, that's neat. This is over, you know, that sort of thing. Kickstarter is a great thing. Kickstarter.com, where people who have great ideas and want investors or donors, uh, you you say basically uh, if I get five hundred people to give me ten bucks to do this, I will do it. And then if you get the five hundred people, then the people who pledged have to pay. Exactly, but if you it's kind of cool. Yeah. So what's the name of your Kickstarter project? Is it going to be Simultanea Project? It's going to be Simultanea Project. It's not up there okay. right now. Um, but um, so my problem though is the submission process. Um, I'm asking people. Obviously, I want to get the highest quality of film I can get. So I'm asking people to burn their uh, footage to a DVD and send it to me. But I also want it to be easy because, that, you know, people aren't going to take part if it's not easy. So I also want to have an upload function on the website. Yeah, you, believe it or not, you're going to get better quality video if you do that than if you ask them to burn a DVD. Oh, you're really? Yeah. You, it seems like DVD, that's the best quality. It's not. Okay. Oh. In order to, put it, in order to burn a DVD, if they make a video DVD, they have to encoded as an MPEG-2 in a certain kind of format. And while that's a good, acceptable format for movies and stuff, oftentimes people who are using video uh, recorders are, are recording it in higher quality than that. Okay. So if you could get them to give you your data. Now, if they're going to burn a DVD, tell them, don't burn a video DVD. Put the data file that came out of your camera on a DVD. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Make a data DVD. And similarly, they can upload it. The problem is, now a minute, it's not going to be that huge, but if it's really good quality, a minute could be a fairly large file. Right. And, uh, and they may not want to upload 500 megabytes, you know. Right. So what do you recommend? I was thinking of services like you send it. That's a good service. Um, the truth is what's going to happen is you're going to make a recommendation, but people are going to find lots of different ways to do it. For instance, I have and I love a pogo plug which lets me put a file, a large file, on a, on a hard drive that's here, and then I send you a link to it, and you download it from there yourself. Okay. Um, and that's going to be good. Unfortunately, there was a great solution for this called Dropio, D-R-O-P dot I-O. And actually, in your time frame, it's still going to be around, but the, the company just got bought by Facebook, and they're shutting it down in December. Oh. But, but, but Dropio is a good choice. You, they can make um, anonymous drop boxes that they copy their video to and just send you the link to. Okay, and then I can send D people who, who are signed up. Exactly, D-R-O-P dot I-O, and it's free. 
Oh my God, that sounds great. That sounds yeah, great. and I'm really sad that it's going. It's going to be shut down. Thank you, Facebook. <laughs> why? Well, why aren't they going to keep it going? Because uh, Facebook really didn't want the the. This is this happens a lot. Uh, in fact, Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook said, "We don't hire. We don't. We've never bought a company for the company's product. We buy it for the people." So they essentially wanted Sam Lesson, the guy who started Dropio. They didn't want the company, so they're shutting the company down. But they got Sam working for him. I think it's well. I, there's nothing you can do about it. It's just just a darn shame. Wow, it's kind of sad. Wow. Yeah. Oh, actually, they're well. You know what? They're you're, they're not allowing new signups, so Dropio is not a good solution. Hey, chat room is there? Is there anything like Dropio that people could use uh, in a similar way? There's there's actually here's another one that I just found out about because I saw people tweeting. What are we going to do without Dropio? And uh, and a company called oh boy, I don't know if I can remember it too. 2DO, I'm going to have to find it on uh, Twitter. It has a similar solution where you might even like this better. People download, now, nah, I don't know. They have to download some software, but when they download the software, then they can right-click a file on their desktop, and it'll give them a link they can send you. It's a public link. And as long as their machine's on, you can get the file. Right, and then I can just take it on my end. Yeah, so there's a, there's a lot of different um, uh, choices for something like this. I wish Dropio had not gone out of business because it's really the best. The, the problem is you could say, oh, send it to YouTube, but then it's then it's going to be the lousy quality that YouTube Exactly, you. exactly. You want the best possible quality. You want the quality. Basically, you want the file as it comes out of the camcorder. Exactly, because what I'm going to be doing is I'm, I'm asking, I'm going to blow some of these streams up, you know, if I get some really great shots of like, I want people to go out in nature and, you know, the natural landscape and take images of that because I want all of those, you know, perspectives to be a part of it. And I want to be able to zero in on some of them, you know? Yeah. Oh, it sounds wonderful. Thank you. <sighs> Unfortunately, Dropbox, I mean, um, somebody's mentioning Dropbox, but you have to sign up for an account. The beauty of Dropio is you didn't have to have an account. You just right. kind of did it. Um, with Dropbox, can I just share that with the um, people? You could. You could actually, that's what you do. You make a public Dropbox. Okay. That's what you do. Now, Dropbox is free for two gigs. It'll fill up fast, so you either clear it out mm -hmm, like every or you get, or you buy a, a 50 gig box okay. because it will fill up fast. There you go. Crea you create a Dropbox account, and you give them the public link that they can upload to. Okay, cool, great. And now, am I going to need to worry about formats and stuff like that? You sure are because <laughs> you're going to get it in a million different formats. Unfortunately, video is not like audio. You know, Everybody says MP3 and audio, and that's it. But video, it could be MPEG-4, MPEG-2, H.264, uh, H. which is a variant of MPEG-4. It could be 80, 80V, H, H, 80C, anyway, it could be all these different formats. ADVH, ADCHV, I can't even remember it now. <laughs> There's too many darn formats. So, uh, yes, you'll get them in all these different formats. Are you, uh, AVCHD, thank you. Are you going to uh, edit it, or is you have somebody doing the editing, or? I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to get some buddies to help me edit it, and it's just going to be an interesting process. <laughs> you will you will end up getting a number of tools that will convert any format to uh, Final Cut or whatever format you're using. I'm using Final Cut. Perfect. Yeah. So Final Cut reads most of those, but you'll get some stuff in weird formats like MKV that you'll have to uh, convert. But you'll see there are a lot of different tools that will do it. All right. All right. Well, excellent. Hey, that sounds great. I'm so glad uh, you told me about this. Keep, us, uh, keep in touch and uh, let us know how it's going, and then we'll look forward to... Uh, seeing the final uh, Simultania project. Thanks. I hope you sign up. It would be so great. Simultaneaproject.com. Great to talk to you. Good luck. Thank you, Aaron. Leo Lapointe, the tech guy.